shit. We have these two classes that students come and do, um, ranging from underclassmen to upperclassmen, and those are within the curriculum, but beyond that, all of the technology that we use in those classes are open to any student, really, or a research group or professor, or essentially anyone who's interested in working with 3D printers, scanners, um, we have power tools as well. And they might come in and say, like, I have an idea or I have a startup idea. I'd like to try and design a product. I'm not really sure where to start. And, and the good thing about that is that with 3D printers, you can change your design really as much as you want in your design software and then print a new iteration of that. And it's, it's really cheap compared to, like, metal parts or something like that. And so we try and support groups like that or anyone interested, really. Today what they're doing is they're disassembling that. So this is dissection day. So they take all that stuff as, as a part as they can, so, and then eventually they might have to break it even, so there's, they'll have like 30 or so parts. And then throughout the course of the semester, what they'll do is they'll model each one of those parts. So all the screws and, and the components and stuff like that, and then they'll assemble those parts in the same software, um, and then they'll have like a digitized version of the product. One thing that is very cool about this lab is that we have the scanners, and the scanners are really useful for making parts or scanning parts that have like organic geometry or if you're scanning a person you can get shapes that you wouldn't otherwise be able to model certainly not as accurately and so that's really useful for making like ergonomic design we've had groups scan faces and then use that scan to design machines for people with sleep apnea and try to make it more comfortable for them based off of the shape of their face and we've also had students who we had a student who uh, scanned her shoulder. She was a music student, and then she used that scan to create a more comfortable violin, like shoulder rest. So that's the type of stuff that, you know, it's really customized and it's really specific to the user, and scanners are really useful for that. We try to get as many different people looking at the project as possible, and so it's really interdisciplinary, and you end up with a lot cooler projects, and you get a lot of different heads together, and it generally turns out much more interesting, and I think students benefit a lot from that, as well as the final product.